Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and we're playing the legendary Iron Man um, run of this mod beta 1. We are in the middle of a supply run which are, if you know anything about uh, the Long War, one of the most difficult missions and I needed to cut it short the last time because as usually we're running a bit over time when it comes to these supply runs. So what we're going to do is we're using our freshly summoned Templar Ghost to scout out the enemy troops. <laughs> and boy oh boy, this game is delivering. Have I just pulled two packs? I think so. So what are we looking at? Two Centurion, three Centurion, three Mac. <laughs> what kind of a bullshit is that? Uh, three Centurion, three Mac. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, and a shield bearer, of course. There's always a shield bearer. Six, seven. Not sure if that guy is also there. Eight, probably. So we we have eight advent, uh, two centurion, and one berserker. My bad. How could I assume that it would be three centurion? No. It's two centurion and a berserker. God. This... It's pretty bad. This is pretty, pretty bad. Um, we're probably going to withdraw just a little bit and take our chances in using the high ground here. But boy, is uh, that a bad start. Uh, it would be tempting to kill the Advent Sergeant even more so the Lancer, which I'm probably going to do. I would love to kill the mech. <laughs> All of them are really, really, really nasty enemies. You know, I'm wondering if we're not clustering up too much. This here might be a thing. We need to get rid of the mech. Elsewise, uh, we're going to eat a grenade or two. That's a given. But, if we were to... Ah, uh, difficult. We could try to go for the stun lancer. We could also try to go for the mech. Um, and essentially get it down. Moving over here in the hopes of maybe finding a haywire protocol. Chances are pretty low, I would assume. But if we could get the mech onto our side, that would be a perfect bait for us. 25%, elsewise we need to simply kill it. I think we're going to go with it. Nope, didn't work out. It would be, it would have been super cool. One in a four chance. Still worth it, um, because we would have not only killed it, but essentially taken it completely over. Oh, 
Well, hmm. Don't want to go too close. The name of the game was Keeping Distance. Only 30% chance uh, that we are critting it. There's a chance to deal maximum damage, but the maximum damage would be enough to kill it. I think instead we might want to soften up the mech and just use another shot to kill it. And the shredding was helpful, because now it's pretty much down. This here should kill a stun lancer. Not enough damage to kill the mech. I like the extra shot. That makes sense. But it's not enough damage to actually kill it. I mean, we could double down and essentially move all the way up to here. And we need a solid piece of cover. We're probably not being able to reach the mech from here. No, but we could overwatch. The ghost is expendable, specifically when we have pulled such a massive pack. Might as well use uh, Perry here. Not sure. Could also go all the way back here. For now, let's position out of line of sight. And we could even use a smoke grenade. Just need to find the right uh, right angle. Very nice. So that's going to increase the cover even further. We're going to overwatch here. Sniper can still te theoretically uh, pistol overwatch, but I rather prefer to steady weapon. That way we can hit something in full cover next turn. Thirty one per cent. Tell you what, Could go over here, It'd still probably be a bad chance. But the stun, yeah, I remembered they are extremely susceptible to stun. Might as well take an almost hundred percent chance to stun. There you go, 9090, which means one less problem to take care of. Half cover. Hmm. The 
You know, I like it if they would come just a tiny bit closer. And maybe the ghost even survives one more turn. So we're moving into full cover. The ghost, don't get me wrong, is still by far the prime target for them. You got a suppression. And boy, they are going to take shots at it. Yeah, everyone gets some extra hit points. Not much I can do about that. Oh, wow. Well, so far, he's tanking them like a pro. You know what would be absolutely fantastic if we could remote start that truck? It'll send a message. Like, don't position stupidly with 20 people on that very one truck. By the way, I probably have underestimated the number of enemies. It's crazy. Okay, don't be fooled just because we haven't received a lot of damage. Really, by no means um, equates to us being safe. Okay, time for run and gun, and I think we're also going to fortify this turn. I mean, we just have to take some of them out. That should draw some of the overwatch shots. Lightning reflexes prevents that from happening. And here we go. We could basically go into full cover over here, or we're just taking cover behind the car, which is probably the smarter idea. I would like to take the chain shot, even though it only has a 75% chance to hit. But there is a chance that we are killing the entire mech with it. But we hit twice, but it is still standing. Oh my gosh, we're being outgunned here. <laughs> Too many hit points.
There's a chance that we can kill the mech. Come on. Good job. Getting ourselves back to kind of full focus. Heavy Gunner is an option. Oh, the Rocketeer. Oh, the Rocketeer. Yes. Yes, and very much yes. Fortunately, not a kill. Okay, who else could act? Biggest problem is to find a good position to fight them. Plus to go th uh, to get through their hit points, they are beefy, 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 beefy. I'm not taking the fifty-fifty. We're starting to mess around with the berserk. Can't do anything with the ghost. Elsewise, we're going to. Just disappear. Go, catch him up. Yeah, that would only be a fifty fifty as well. We're leaving half cover. And making it more difficult for the Rocketeer. Hmm. In terms of moving. Probably this here is one of the safest locations. Roby got untouchable, meaning we could we could go essentially over here. Could also go to here, but that would be dangerous. I mean, we do have fortify currently up, right? But then again, look at the amount of enemies. I rather prefer to move over here and use the untouchable in case we're going to be shot from uh, from the side. We're doing nothing with the ghost. The ghost is just a mimic beacon at this point. And let's see what the outcome is going to be. I am assuming we're taking more damage this turn than the last one. That's 
the untouchable gone. Ouch. The Centurions do exactly what I was expecting them to do. The ghost is still tanking them. And now our problem is we were lacking the firepower to basically kill all of them. Oh, plus the ghost just died. That's a problem as well. He's still in full cover. That's a shot, shot in the open, so yeah, I guess I deserved it. Wasn't aware how aggressive these Centurions and how far they could actually um, move. They were nasty. Okay, so we definitely can start with a heal. Choosing Fury because Fury is going to tank them. And now it's a matter of essentially getting the enemies down. Let's start with a Berserk chain shot. Yeah, that should be sufficient to kill the Berserk. Or set up this guy. 8 to 14. Problem is the high armor. Can we shred the armor first is the question. We also got a mech. Hmm. We could reload and start shredding the armor here. And then basically finish him off. That's one way of doing it. This is not a secured kill. Chain shot would be a very likely kill. Still can't can't uh, do the dead eye. Okay. 
All right, the captain is actually standing here. Uh, the question is, by standing here, would we be able to kill the mutant? And I'm not sure if the answer is yes. By standing here, we could kill the captain. We can't kill them all. Not this turn. Which means we gotta set priorities. The mutants and the berserk and the mech are the highest priorities. This here could be a one-shot kill. Into full cover. Let's try this. Nice. Very good. So we're f f uh, we've just refilled the focus completely. And if we're parrying, which we should do, one of them is going to charge in. We'll just charge into, yeah, nothing, into a parry. Now we could area overwatch the entire thing. First off, we're definitely going to reload. We could area suppress the whole thing. Which, by thinking about it, is maybe not the worst idea. This here could hit, and we're looking at what? Um, at worst, 4 points of damage. At best, 10 points of damage. Sniper could take the kill afterwards. Everyone's happy. That's an option. Which is basically the route of suppressing fire. But they will just charge through it, right? The other option is to say fuck it and essentially set up the mutant here for a nice solid kill. Shred it and then watch it die. I like that idea. bad. Okay, now we are trying to just overpower it with enough damage. Minimum damage. Not really. This guy is still a threat. Don't want the Grenadier to be using his gauntlet. And since we can't kill the mutant anyways... Okay, we're reloading, and before we decide to stabilize our weapon or not stabilize our weapon, I do have one last trick up my sleeve, which is moving here, not completely and utterly exposed. Yeah. 
and we're looking at what 86 80 percent free reload So we would be at exactly 80% um, if we holo target the mutant, which we obviously seemingly cannot do. Apparently that's not possible. Which means we're going for the second best option, killing the Advent um, Captain. Fortunately, we didn't crit hard enough. So now we don't have Untouchable and we're standing in half cover, which stinks. Renwin will take a beating. Yeah, grenade. I was fully expecting that. That's the parry. I was expecting that as well. The unknown is whatever the mech does. I'm not sure if it is using rockets. It could have been worse. Yeah, we're, we're running out of health in this battle here, and we're fighting a losing battle. It's really on the edge of maybe not being possible. Maybe we need to withdraw. We're immune to fire, so I don't mind that. By the way, I calculated it. This was not a flanking shot. He could have. He couldn't have flanked us. That's why I was go, uh, going there in the first place. I can tell you guys it ain't pretty. Could move over here, Could move forward into full cover. Not a bad idea. Can I fight that or shall we run? That's the question. So if we move forward, we can take on the mutant. Over here, I do have uh, the ability to charge in. Definitely with a frontal charge, we ignore his armor. We can kill the mutant. Sniper still has cover, which means he can stay up here. We may be able to kill the mech in one go. Hmm. 
Hmm. What are we doing with you? Probably half cover plus high ground still the way to go. That's one option. The other one is over here and flanking, which is probably the better call. So I decided we are going to fight this one. I'm convinced that I can win. And I've made up a plan. We're going to flank and we're taking out the mutants plus their front line first. Let's start cleaning up. Moving into full cover. Still got plenty hit points with uh, Mike Bravo. Probably should have moved uh, with our assault first. I wasn't expecting that we we're going uh, getting Overwatch shot. So we need to deal with the mutant first. No excuses. Um. Moving up here. I'm trusting you here. Okay. So this here is shotgun to the face. We're ignoring his armor. He has sixteen hit points, nineteen, uh, and we're hitting for ten. Yeah, that's a kill. Fuck you. Fuck you for many, many reasons, but mainly for charging in like madmen. I would like to take this shot. I would absolutely like to kill him. But the Centurion here has priority. down to 10 hit points. Look at that. Mm. This little sucker. 10 hit points, okay. Let's see if we can get him into pistol range. Down to eight. Okay, eight is not enough. That's not a secured. Uh, that is not a secured kill. Uh. But we do have a crit chance. So crit chance of 55%, it w would need to be minimum damage, there's no grazing shot, it would need to be minimum damage, which is 1 in a 6, so that's 16% um, times, uh, uh, times uh, 0 0.45, so we're looking at 7% to not kill him. I'll take the chances, in all of the other cases he dies. Okay. Hey. 
I mean, we could go for Void Conduit and regain some health. Sure. But we can also deal 10 points of damage. Hmm. What to do, what to do. Pistol shot. Yes, no, maybe. There's a very low chance that we're critting. But we would be ignoring his armor. We can't kill the mech. We could kill a shield bearer though. Nine points. Yeah, if we hit and deal five or six damage, that'll be down to eight. Can we hit for 10? Yeah, I think that would work. The other alternative is Volt. You know, the other alternative is I'm simply going to take one of uh, these guys out with Void Conduit and continue staying in full cover. By thinking about it, it actually sounds like a really decent plan. Because this guy here is going to be gone for two rounds. Templar will get hit points back. What's over there? The only thing that sucks is uh, the mech still survived. But I think we're going to be okay. That's untouchable. Never mind, that is definitely not untouchable. That is just rockets. Yeah, the marking is a problem. Means we're only standing in half cover now. Next round, however, uh, the shields should be gone, which will give us a huge advantage. Untouchable. And the shields came down. That's a lot of hit points which are all of a sudden gone. Well, I could kill the stun lancer, but at the same time, it means I would need to charge in. Which I'm not sure if we want to do. 
Let's start with the most important ones. I'd like to kill the mech first. And the mech managed to place itself just behind the tree. But there's always a but. It did not calculate uh, with a grappling hook. Death from above and moving back. Moving Good. We are reloading. Uh, 25%, not necessarily what I was hoping for. Fifty-fifty on the grenadier. That was a miss. All right. can move up to here, essentially flanking uh, this guy. Moving into another flanking position. And let's start hitting the admin officer. Officer down to five hit points. Mike moves up. Copy that. Yeah, the range is a bit of a problem. But if we hit, we're hitting very hard. Good fucking job. By the way, I had a backup plan to kill this guy. Moving into full cover. Grenadier. I'll take the 50 50 on the officer. Didn't work out, okay. Yeah, I think that's the safest bet. I don't want to pull another pack because I still think we're not fully done. Back to three. And let's position ourselves in full cover. Just like the rest. We're going to get some more hit points from the Void Conduit. Yep, two more hit points. I was under the impression he would be he would be uh, CC'd for one more round, but I was clearly wrong. <laughs> okay, I can kill the stun answer.
Let's start with the Advent Officer here. Target down. Yeah, and we need to reload. Ready to go. No other option uh, for this turn. Mike gets into full cover. He's low on hit points, and I want to make sure that no one accidentally dies. But he takes revenge on the shield bearer. Gotcha. Ammo's low. Good, we got some next level run and gun shit happening here. This is just to pull out uh, the overwatch shot. This here kills the stun lancer. And we're running and gunning all the way over here. I'm almost convinced that that could be the last unit on the battlefield. And I was wrong once again. Good, there must be another pack. Very strange. Just parrying for now. How many did we just fight? That was like what? A pack of eight? And a pack of... Two Centurions, a Mutant, two Max. That's another five. So 13. Kill 13. And then there was a pack of 15 beforehand. Yeah, it makes... Unfortunately, it makes sense. Scary thought, but... That might be just another pack of seven to eight out there. What's over there? Yeah, we're probably going to go alongside uh, this side here. Mike needs to stay a bit back. Four hit points are unfortunately level range. Good, we're reloading. And... Steadying the weapons. Back online. Back in business. Essentially getting cooldowns back. And let's get a feel for where exactly the last pack might be at. Hard to imagine that it gets worse than the ones that we've seen before, right? And whilst we're at it, this is out of here. This is Firebrand. Evac request confirmed. 
Just putting a new evac out there. Good, we're just moving everyone into a position. The ones in the front take overwatch, the ones in the back are steadying their weapons. There's still one more pack out there. Moving over here. Nothing. I, I wouldn't be surprised if they are back there. Let's move the sniper over to here. We can grapple hook to the other high ground. I'm just realizing we have a bunch of people who are relatively low on health. Gotta be careful. So abortion is still a real uh, possibility here. Not abortion, probably aborting the mission is what I meant to say. I don't think any of our XCOM agents is pregnant at this time. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. No, it's not yet time to go. No, it's not. Six. Okay. Whew, not too bad. Not one of those hardcore picks. Hundred percent for the Mac. Do we still have a hundred percent? Ninety-one, good enough for me. Ninety percent for the Advent Mac. Let's go. They are moving way, way back. Which tells me that we should move up and just wait for them with Overwatch. Okay, simply moving to here.
Shotguns are not necessarily really good in uh, Overwatch uh, combat, so um, I'll probably take the high ground up here. Overwatching. Mike is overwatching. And let's give our aid protocol to Renvin. I'll be moving over to here. So next turn we can take the high ground and take a chain shot to hopefully kill something. Yeah, it has lightning reflexes, so no point. Yeah, suppression does not mean a lot. That, on the other hand, did hurt a bit. Alright, we can deal with them. Lots of 50-50s. I don't get it, but on the other hand, where could we grapple to? All of these positions here are too exposed. Some answer needs to die first. There we go. That's one down. Almost not as afraid about uh, afraid of the specter as you would probably think. The reason for that is the specter will use his shadow melt ability to begin with, and that's about it. Time for fortify, by the way. Killed him and we can get into a nice, comfortable full cover. Alright, Rascal over here moves up. That's a 60% chance. 
Might as well try to kill the Spectre. Yeah, only one grazing shot and a miss. That is not enough. Zero percent chance to kill the Spectre. But we can move. into full cover. Over here. Okay. And let's try this again. But we're not going to pull ourselves up somewhere. I might have winged them. Going for full cover over here. And going out of line of sight of everyone over here. Mike just overwatches, he has uh, not enough hit point pool to go in. Shadowbound. Okay, fair enough. That's a reflect, hopefully, or a miss. Yep, very good. Could still grapple up there. Moving into a killing position. And let's kill this mutant. There's an easy way around Shadowbound, which is called Revival Protocol. Moving from one full cover into the other full cover uh, to flank The Spectre. Fortunately, not enough damage. Roger that. Mike moves in, and I would say we're just taking a normal shot. I mean, it's tempting to go for a chain shot. But there is a good enough chance that we're going to kill it anyways. Uh, let's 
one of the few times where maybe the chain shot would have been the better option. 50-50 against the Spectre. Are you kidding me? Moving down here. Roger that. And let's kill the Spectre. Which leaves us with one trooper. is heavily wounded were were wounded as well uh, it would be it would be wrong to state that we haven't taken our fair share of uh, damage here and he's being killed by a reflect so fitting status confirmed well, they weren't lying about the 36 enemies, but they also weren't saying like what kind of enemies we're fighting against. Specifically the one pack, or the double pack that I pulled, oh my god. And we're back in the base. Well. Good news is we're only wounded for four to ten days. Renman became a master sergeant. I like level. Awesome extra damage. <laughs> that is cool as well. That is pretty cool. Yeah, I think we're still going for level. Specifically with our rapid fire to, uh, together, it's, it's just too good. And that's not bad either. It'll give us more flexibility. I like it. So we can take a shot and then afterwards move. Alright, Fury. Late Storm. Too good. Supreme Focus. Too good. Iconic Storm. Too good. He has a lot of good abilities. Reaper, Arc Wave. I think we're still going for Blade Storm. It just makes a lot of his movements even better. Plus, the Ghost gets Blade Storm. I mean, we can freely add additional abilities as we get more AP. Which, by the way, makes the heroic classes here incredibly good. So we're definitely our prime team will contain all of the heroic classes. And we got Taxman, Kubikiri, no question. And combat fitness would be great. We're going to get that eventually.
Look at that, 100 supplies, 35 corpses, Elerium, alien alloys, lots of loot, um, ad additional Elerium cores. Yeah, that was... Uh, it, it was a mission uh, uh, which was high risk but also high reward. And we got another negative trade here. Fear of panic is, by the way, super bad. Because as soon as someone panics, that unit gets chain panic. Let's take a look at our roster. Many of the high profile characters are wounded. And we got a few Master Sergeants now. By the way, as soon as they reach Master Sergeant, I will probably not take them on missions that often, but instead start to remove their fears, start increasing their bonds slightly. Um, although the, f the fear is more important and start essentially also training them. Um, so probably leadership training for some of them and going on to covert ops for others. Plus, we'll need that team in some of the liberation missions. And realistically, I will probably not have the patience to accept that we're not doing certain missions. That would be going against our tactic here. Who said that you cannot simply do all of the missions in uh, Long War? Sure you will find the it's clearly not a correct statement. You can do them. Which is going to get crushed from time to time. Okay, we just found Alarium, which means powered armors and coil guns. Instant Advent Mech Breakdown. These robotic Advent has legions of these mechanized units out there helping. Nice, we got blue screen protocol. As far as I can tell, they're fully automated and armed to the teeth. So I think we can go for powered armor now. Yeah, I would almost see that that is ah, difficult. Are we going for armor or for guns? I think we're going for armor first. The guns are still okay. I will make that our highest priority. Good. So, in terms of progress, mechanized warfare, definitely yes. Blue screen protocol. I think we we should do that afterwards. We should do that afterwards. The weapon modifications are great, but not needed right now. Plasma grenades would be awesome as well. But costs a lot of uh, Elerium, which we will probably need for our armor, if our sets of armor. Let's go with the sparks first. I had committed to to use them in this run. So that's, we, you can't have it all, at least not um, at the same time. So we're going Sparks first. Double checking here. Okay, so we haven't recruited anyone new. Let's continue our infiltration.
Oh yeah, I remember that was the mission which I just barely uh, wanted to do with a moderate to heavy baseline um, and our team of five. Yeah, we're going to do that next turn. Uh, Diva Iwop uh, will lead his team into battle and we're hopefully helping to liberate West Africa. Whew. That was quite a mission. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, we are crushing it at the moment. As always, don't forget to leave a like and comment down below. I appreciate your feedback and your support. See you in the next run, guys. Bye-bye.